Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I filmed a video. As you can tell, I've just been behind on my content, which happens sometimes. But in today's video, we're gonna be doing some mini reviews. I'm just gonna be going over some of the hair products that I've been trying lately and give you guys my thoughts on them. I have the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil ultra rich collection here to share and then a couple of other just random products so if you're interested in that and in hearing my thoughts just keep on watching i would love if you would consider subscribing if you are new and giving the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get into it sipping on my coffee it's very sunny outside today so i'm thankful for that with the lighting i don't usually wear my hair up like this for hair videos but i just did not have the energy today you guys so this is what i went with you guys have seen my hair down in its natural state many many times let's first get into the bumble and bumble products because i'm sure that a lot of you guys are interested in that we have the ultra rich shampoo conditioner and then this hyaluronic treatment lotion which is sort of like a leave-in type of product it says that you can use this on wet or dry hair but i'll let you guys know what i prefer now for the shampoo and the conditioner the shampoo first you guys i was had really high hopes for this that it was going to be a really nourishing moisturizing shampoo but i still wanted it to cleanse because that's really important i don't like my hair to be weighed down it's a little bit more coarse but it's not overly so and it's also not super curly so it does get weighed down even though it doesn't as easy as someone with really fine loose waves might it still gets weighed down so to me honestly this just was too heavy on my hair it didn't do the cleansing job that i wanted it to and it kind of left just like a heavy feeling on my scalp and made my hair kind of stick together and not feel soft. It just felt a little bit heavy on the scalp and I felt like it left a residue. So for that reason, I wouldn't recommend this unless you are looking for like a co-wash type of product and you have really coarse, curly type of hair and you think you could handle something like this. Um, let me know in the comments if you've tried this line and what your thoughts are on it. This is just my personal opinion. It was just too heavy for my hair. I was definitely disappointed by it, but that's just how it goes sometimes. And then for the ultra rich conditioner, this one actually I did enjoy. It's still thick and nourishing and really intense but it's good for those days when i have done like a clarifying treatment or my hair just really needs the extra moisture or something like that and i really want a thick rich conditioner if you are the type of person that really likes thick rich conditioners to the point where you even sometimes use a mask in place of a conditioner which i will sometimes do as well um then i think you would really like this because sometimes a conditioner that's just too light doesn't leave my hair with the moisture that it needs and I end up with extra frizz and my hair feels more coarse if that makes sense and I just like that soft supple feeling that I get when I use a really nice thick conditioner so like I said if that's what you like I think you would really enjoy this especially if you are the type of person that a lot of the time goes for masks instead of a conditioner I think this will meet your expectations for something that's really nourishing. And then for this hyaluronic treatment lotion, like I said, it says that you can use this on wet or dry hair. For me personally, I prefer this on my wet hair as like a leave-in, like the first step in your routine when you're styling. I have used just like a small, small amount on my hair after it was dry. And I didn't feel like it weighed my hair down, which this type of thing can sometimes do on dry hair. So I wouldn't say it's bad for that. But for me, I just prefer a different type of product when my hair is dry. I like to use an oil. And a lot of the times I like to use like a really lightweight oil too. So it just depends. But I don't prefer a lotion-y type of product on dry hair. So I really like this for like a leave-in when my hair is still wet. And I use it before I put on the rest of my styling products. It's really nice because... It gives you a little bit more moisture than some of the leave-ins that I have, like the Kristen S one. If I had to compare, I would say this one is more similar to like the Verb Curl Leave-In Conditioner. It's not like as thick as the Kinky Curly Leave-In or the Heritage Leave-In. It's more of like a thin but still really moisturizing product that has a little bit of like an oily-ish feel to it, but not so intense that it like weighs down your hair. So my thoughts on this collection is that they are all nourishing moisturizing products but the shampoo just didn't cleanse the way i wanted it to and i especially would not use the shampoo and then both of these other products 
Honestly, even if you have pretty coarse hair, I feel like that's just a lot. If you want to use something like this shampoo, maybe use it in conjunction with lighter products. And then same goes for the conditioner and the treatment lotion. Maybe use those on a more like clarifying wash day or something. Just my suggestion. Let's get into the other products here. First, we have this Cantu Wave Whip Curling Mousse. This is a product that I had in my wishlist video and I ended up picking it up on Amazon. It was less than $5, so it's very, very affordable. This Cantu brand is super affordable. And I have to say, this is definitely more of a foam than a mousse. It reminds me a lot of my Curl Talk foam that I use for refreshing. So I could totally use this on a refresh day with that type of technique or you could use it on a wash day. I've only used it on wash days so far because I am discovering that sometimes on my wash days, I do like a nice lightweight foam to use like in between a moisturizing product and like a gel or a mousse. Just when I don't wanna use like a full on cream, but I still want a little bit of extra hydration in my styling routine, I'll use like a nice lightweight foam like this. And I've really been enjoying this one. To be honest, I haven't tried it for refreshing so I can't compare it to the curl talk one in that way but as far as on a wash day it really compares very similarly to the curl talk one because I have used the curl talk one on wash days as well and they act very similar in that type of routine so just wanted to let you guys know this one is like half the price of that one's very affordable so if you want to check it out I would recommend this if you're planning to use it for wash days again I still have to test it out more for refreshing to see if it is the same or how it compares to the Curl Talk one. Then we have this um, Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse with castor and aniseed oil. This product is very interesting because it I love the texture of this for a shampoo. It's very smooth and kind of thick while still being like this translucent type of product. So for that reason, I really enjoy the texture but to be honest, it's so odd. This smells like a nail salon. Like not like nail polish or nail polish remover, but like a nail salon, like when you get your acrylics done. Yeah, it smells like walking into a nail salon. It's not like overly, overly strong, but you can definitely smell it. If you don't mind that, um, I really like the texture of this product and I liked what it did for my hair. But if you can't get past that smell, it's definitely not something I recommend because it is, it's definitely there and it's noticeable. So I don't know, I wish it had like a nice gingery smell or something, so odd. But again, I like the texture of this. It's called a cleansing rinse, but I felt like it was a proper shampoo. Like it really cleansed my hair. It's so unique. I just, I am a little bit bummed about the scent because it's just an odd thing to experience when you're in the shower washing your hair. It's just not what you expect, but. Yeah, that's my thoughts so far on this Camille Rose Cleansing Rinse. Actually, the rest of these products are shampoos. I have two more products here. Next, we have the Ion Purifying Solution Hard Water Shampoo. I have not used this a ton yet. I have to keep trying it out, but so far, I feel like this does really cleanse the hair while still leaving it with that like moisturized, smooth feeling, which is interesting because shampoos don't usually do that for your hair since they don't have silicones in them. Even shampoos that don't at all claim to be natural usually will have more sulfates. And then the conditioners will be the products that have silicone in them, not the shampoos. So it's interesting that it leaves your hair with that like soft, slippy, moisturized feeling. Um, and I do really like that because it doesn't leave it your hair feeling like it's stripped or dry. I'm pretty sure there are some sulfates in this, but if you have hard water like I do, then I would recommend trying something like this out if you just want to cleanse your hair of that buildup. And that could be part of the reason why it leaves your hair soft is because it's getting rid of like that hard water drying buildup. So, so far I'm liking this. I'm gonna keep trying it out and see what my thoughts are long-term, but I'm really happy I got something like this because I think that my hair needed it. I just put a chai tea bag in my coffee because I like that like spicy flavor for the autumn time. Okay, and then the last one here is this Brio Geo Scalp Revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. This is one that I tried out in my Kathleen Lights video and I haven't really updated you guys much or shared much more about my thoughts on this. And I will use this up. I'm glad that I tried it in a small size first, but 
I just don't think that this is something that is worth the price tag. It's a nice shampoo that isn't worth the price tag. If you're gonna use something that's gonna be exfoliating like this, I feel like it needs more exfoliating granules in it because there's not a ton of beads in this to where I feel like it really cleanses your scalp properly. If you want something that's gonna exfoliate your scalp without being too harsh, just try a scalp brush, a silicone scalp brush from Amazon. It will change your life. I use that every time I shampoo my hair now and my scalp doesn't feel clean without it. It's helped so much with itchy scalp and dandruff and things like that. So I definitely recommend checking out a silicone scalp brush if you really want that instead of spending like 40 or $45. I think that's what the shampoo goes for on something like this. Like it's just really pricey for a shampoo. It can be good to invest in good hair products and I'll be the first to say that I do enjoy buying like a nice, expensive, good quality product. If it's actually gonna work, the packaging is nice, the experience is nice, I really enjoy that. But when it's something that I don't feel like is worth it and you can get better stuff for cheaper, that's where I feel like it's just way too much, especially for a shampoo. To be honest, I will spend more on a mask or even a styling product than I will on a shampoo. And obviously, you know, you want it to do its job and really cleanse your hair properly, but this one, it doesn't really lather up very much, with, which isn't a bad thing, you know? Sometimes it doesn't mean that it's not cleaning your hair just because it's not lathering up, but this one, I feel like it kind of does make a difference. And for the fact that this is like, an exfoliating shampoo, I feel like it should really make your hair feel clean, clean. And I just don't feel like it does that. Um, it has a nice kind of almost slight minty scent, which reminds me a little bit of the scent of the High Bar Solid Shampoo, the Maintain one, I think it's called. That one, I really, really like. If you want um, a shampoo that's gonna leave your scalp with a little bit of like a tingly feeling, check out the High Bar Maintain Shampoo because I don't usually go for like solid shampoos and conditioners, but that shampoo bar is really, really nice and it makes your hair feel so clean and tingly and Honestly, it's not even exfoliating and I feel like it does a better job at making your scalp feel clean than this does. So I'm kind of rambling at this point, but those are all the products that I had to review in this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what other videos you want to see from me. I'd love to hear your suggestions in the comments. Again, you guys, sorry for my lack of uploads. Um, also, I do want to say I posted my giveaway video last week and I'm actually going to be gone for like half of this week. So I'm gonna post about this on my community page too so that more of you guys will see it. Um, but I am going to, I think, postpone choosing a winner until Monday of this next week. So this video should go up tomorrow probably. Today is Tuesday, so this should go up on Wednesday. And I was gonna pick a winner this week, but since I'm gonna be gone like over from like Thursday to Sunday, I just feel like it's not a good time to be trying to ship out a package and choosing a winner. So I'm just gonna wait until I get back on Monday and then I will do all of that for you guys. So really appreciate your patience. Thanks again for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.